hello and welcome to my channel if you're new to this channel do consider subscribing and also turn on the notification bell beside it so you get notified anytime i upload a new video so in this video you're going to learn what trailing stop loss is and how you can apply it on your trades if you're trading with the meta 35 or meta 34 platform using a desktop computer but before i show you how you can apply trailing stop loss on your trades let me first explain what trailing stop loss is all about. A trailing stop loss is a type of trading order that lets you set a maximum value or percentage of loss you can incur on a trade. If the price of the asset rises or falls in your favor, the stop price moves with it. And if the price of the asset rises or falls against you, the stop loss stays in place. I know most of the beginner traders might not understand what I just said, so let me just practically explain it to you so that you can really understand. Assuming this is my entry level, and uh, this is my take profit level, and this is my stop loss so i place my stop loss the level i place my stop loss so this is my take profit and this is my stop loss assuming i set my trailing stop loss to cover 10 pips so if the trade goes in my favor and it hits the first level that gives me the 10 pips I set my trailing stop loss. Once the trend move above these 10 pips, this stop loss here will automatically jump from here where it is and takes the position of this level. The stop loss will move with the trend if the trade is going in my favor. That way, if the trend decides to go against me to reverse, it in touches this. Uh, first level of my trailing stop loss the trade will automatically close and my profit will be secured that is how trailing stop loss works what if the trend continues to move up after it hits the first 10 pips and it hits another 10 pips making 20 pips now maybe here this level is another uh, 10 pips so it makes another 10 pips upwards immediately the trend moves above the second 10 pips this stop loss that was initially at this point we move with the trend and stay at this level here so it's moving with the trend if the trend is moving in your favor if the trend keep going up if you move another 10 pips above another 10 pips the trailing stop will now move to the next position that way you will not run into losses so i'll go to the charts now to explain to show you how you can actually add trailing stop so now let me show you how to add trailing stop loss on your trade to add trailing stop loss on your trade you first of all open a position either a buy or a sell position depending on what your analysis tells you so for the purpose of this training i'll just go for a i'll open a sell position so I've opened the sell position. Uh, if you look closely, you see this line here, the dotted green line here, is the point I entered the trade. So to be able to add your trailing stop loss, what you just do is to drag your cursor to the line of entry, this entry line. You right click. Once you right click, no, you didn't get it properly. I didn't get it properly. So you have to position it properly, then right click. Then this short uh, pop-up menu will appear. So once the pop-up menu appears, you scroll down to the base and you see trailing stop. So beside the trailing stop, another pop-up will come up beside it. Here you see 150 points, 155 points, 160 points, and so on. It increases. Then down here you see custom. That's when you want to enter your own number of points. But the first point here is always the least point. You can't go below this so it differs for different asset this asset is actually volatility 10 index so this differs for different assets so for this asset 
150 points you know the next one is 155 points the difference of five so if you select this one uh, the second one here that means you are you're you're placing your your trailing loss five points from your point of entry so i'll go for the second one i'll just click on the second one 155 points that's five points if the price keep moving the direction i speculated if it moves five points from the point i enter the market the trailing stop will appear if it moves further 10 points the trailing stop will follow it five points behind it if the price keeps moving in my direction the trailing stop will follow it five points behind it so anytime the price of the asset reverses once it reverses and touches the trailing stop loss the market will close and secure my profit if i was already on profit so let's just watch this trade and see how it goes okay as you can see there's a red line now so it moves five points ahead so the trailing stop loss has appeared so if it moves further the trailing stop loss will follow it let me zoom it properly so that you see it zoom in okay now i've zoomed it and you see that the red line is the trailing stop loss and the green dotted line is the point where i enter the market so as you can see let me zoom it in more so as you can see as the trend is going down the trailing stop is going with it so if you look closely the point between the entry point and this dotted line which is my trailing stop loss is the profit i'm sure i've made so if it start going against me once it touches this trailing stop loss the trade will close the profit i made between the entry point and the stop loss level will secure okay the trade has closed as you can see the trade has uh, the position has automatically closed because the price was reversing decided to reverse so when it reverse and touched the trailing stop loss level the trade closed and my profit was secure so let me check how much profit was made so i'll just go to my toolbox Total history. So this is the trade here because the date 2021 119. So this is the easy trade here and uh, profit is two dollar thirty one cent. So that is how trading stop loss works.